All right, welcome traders. This is Fausto uh, from CyberTrade University. Welcome back. I want to do something uh, really quick because obviously with the whole coronavirus thing going on and you kind of figuring out what do we trade, what's new, what's hot, Fausto. And I'm getting a lot of uh, people asking me because it's been going on for what? We're two months. It's uh, what's today? Today's May uh, May eighth. We're on a Friday, so we're trying to figure out what's the new norm. I mean, first it was you know uh, cruise stocks, it was airlines. Then it was oil stocks and it was shipping stocks. You know, now with the new norm now is obviously blockchain. So obviously we, we know what's going on with Bitcoin and everybody likes to trade Bitcoin and stuff like that. Some of you can't afford a $9,000 Bitcoin. I know there's other ways of getting around it. Some of you still trying to figure out how to trade Bitcoin. Well, what about us day traders? Day traders don't trade Bitcoin, but we could trade Bitcoin by just trading the stock. And there are some stocks that have been moving pretty well. So if you have been coming you know, in joining us at our events, our, you know, we, we do uh, Facebook Live and YouTube Live every single morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time and at 2.30. Just click on the bottom and just register and we'll get you and you can watch and you'll see us trade these stocks. But we've been trading these stocks for a couple of days. And I just want to kind of touch upon, you know, the strategy behind what we're looking at and what the new norm is. So obviously there's a lot of stocks that are moving our, a lot of blockchain stocks are moving. I want to bring up RIOT really quick. Now you can look right here. We got a, a daily chart. We got a yearly chart. Now you're probably very familiar. Blockchain uh, going back was one of those, uh, even in 2017, I'll just blow this up right here. And you could see how this stock literally ran all the way to $45. This thing dropped all the way down below a dollar, okay? But if you notice what's been going on here, and, you know, obviously when I keep going back, we're looking at 2018. Now we're looking at 2019. It was at $6, had a big run-up. Do you notice right here, I want to zoom in even closer, and you could see right here, stock was at $1.10. It's already at $2. Stock's been on a really, really big move today. And we've been trading it the last two days. And trust me, you are not hearing it on any of the financial stations right now, they're not really talking about it. They're talking Bitcoin, but they're not really talking about some of the uh, blockchain stocks out there. And once again, these stocks do trade side by side. Stock is moving pretty well. And um, how do we know it's moving well? I'm going to get to that. But there are a few other ones that we've been trading also I want to bring up. Here's another one, M-A-R-D, okay? Look at the stock over here on the long-term chart in the bottom right. Stock was at 40 cents. It is at 95 cents. Look how beautiful that stock is. How gorgeous it's moving up since this morning. 70 cents to 95 cents. Okay. Um, here's another one that's uh, not moving terribly, but the DPW. It's going up a little bit. I don't think it's the big move yet. The two biggest ones, though, are RIOT and the MAR. Uh, the MARA. Now, how do we know they're going up? When, did, when they're going to stop? Well, I'm going to bring over here, which is our secret weapon at CyberTrade University. And, you know, one of the big things everybody has to understand is that when you trade, it's not about, you know, what you think. Because when you think you know something about the market, you're going to lose. How do I know this? Because I was a 22-year-old kid going out there doing it myself. And then finally, I took a job as a market maker, as a trader living here in New York. I realized that every single thing I was taught was obviously the opposite. It's not what I think. It's what the street thinks. And that's what you have to think. It's not about some dumb indicator, some Bollinger Band, some moving average, some guy that's bragging, you know, hey, I'm in this one. It's going up. It's about following the money. How do we follow the money? Well, if you haven't watched me, I'm on, I'm very, I'm a regular guest on NASDAQ. And I want to bring up the NASDAQ total view. You can actually watch a couple of videos on me. Once again, just click on the bottom and register and get our alerts. And on the bottom, you'll see I have a whole list of uh, a, a library on YouTube regarding about, you know, um, using level level three, which I call it. So let's go over here and look at the book viewer. The big thing you have to understand is following the money. And we got, you know, we got the buy orders. We got a, we got a 22 orders sitting here at 23,000 shares. Look at all these big buyers out there um, at a buck 60, 20,000 share buyer at a buck 74, 22,000 at a buck 75. Not really a lot, but you are getting some resistance levels here, which is key, which you can see right here, 45000 and 31000 at right around $2. So if you look at here in the long-term chart, no wonder why the stock had a big pop, and now we're getting some resistance levels. Remember, what makes support and resistance levels are buyers and sellers. But the thing is this, will, the, will this go higher? Or, well, you know, 
it, listen, it all depends if these orders get executed. Remember, that's a lot of shares for some of us, okay? You're talking about eighty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 on an order right there. Um, I don't know if any of you guys put it on, on an idea. Maybe some of you, some of you like, well, you know, I, that's, that's, that's a lot of shares. But you know what? Someone's going to execute him. You got to follow the time and sales, and you got to follow these orders. Here's another uh, good explanation. Okay, here's our level four platform. We're looking at uh, RIOT. Look at this big red bar right there. That is a, this guy's been out there all morning. Stock obviously came close to it, right around $2. Actually, this one with level four, you're getting more ECN orders. You get, because um, remember, there's more than one out there. Once again, I'm not here to teach you. You can just click on the bottom and watch some of the videos on ECN orders that we do on YouTube, and you'll know all the different ones. But here is more aggregated with more orders. Where NASDAQ, you're seeing about 70,000 shares of buyer uh, sellers. Here, you're seeing close to 200,000 share sellers. Kind of explains why I had a tough time breaking that resistance levels out there. But this is how you follow the money. You basically just got to know where the orders are and where they're coming. Here's a little bit better of a, of, of, of a stock. Let's go to back to M-A-R-A. -A. Look at this stock. Building beautiful Fausto flags right here. Consolidation. Breaking higher highs. Orders are getting filled. 200,000, 100,000 share orders out there. So listen, if those guys get done, it's going to go higher. But, you know, for everybody out there, and the purpose of this webinar, uh, the purpose of this video is to kind of show you, I know that this is the big norm right now. Because um, Bitcoin's been doing pretty well the last couple of days, okay? Due to, you know, it could be because now we're in a, a $24, $25 trillion debt. We're all, the you know, with our national debt. Um, but Bitcoin's been like dead. It's been nowhere to be seen. So instead of going trading the coin, why don't you come and join us and join us and trade the stock? So listen, if you like us, click on the bottom, join us. I'll teach you how to trade with level three, level four. Come and join us every single morning live here on YouTube and Facebook Live. And we'll show you how we'll trade some Bitcoin. And also, I'm going to be doing an exclusive event next week, a live webinar that's going to show you how to do this in more detail. So once again, like us, join us, click on the bottom, and we'll give you some more great ideas just like this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and be safe out there.